Welcome to the Wine Barn of Winter Park. My name is Andres Montoya. Uh, we're here in central uh, Winter Park, Florida, just outside of Fairbanks Avenue. And wanted to tell you a little bit about what we do here at the shop. One of the things we really focus on are small production artisan wines. Uh, we take great lengths in tasting every single wine before we offer it to our customers. And that's our pride. Everybody that works in the shop, we really are focused on wine. We know our wines. I really wanted to offer something a little more than just wine on the shelves. And in the last six months, we decided to embark on our next venture, which was bringing a wood-burning oven all the way from Italy uh, to the wine barn. So in a few moments, you're going to be seeing Chef Ian Russell doing some awesome pies, some pizzas, some fresh ingredients, everything made from scratch right here in our Winter Park store and fired on our wood-burning oven. Thank you for watching Signature Chefs of Orlando and show you some of our really cool wine pairings and how we can make that perfect experience with great food, great wine, and great friends. Thank you. Hi, my name's Ian Russell. I am chef at the Wine Barn of Winter Park. We're gonna make a pie today that has Key West pink shrimp on it. It's got a roasted poblano and mango chutney. It's got some toasted pecans, uh, some fresh coconut, some toasted coconut, and a great little coconut base. We're gonna start by pulling out the dough, which we make here fresh. It rests for about 24 hours, a minimum of 24 hours. So overnight in our refrigerators. In every pizza and in all pies, the dough is definitely the most important aspect. And it took us about, I think, 10, maybe 15 different adjustments that we pulled to get the dough just, just how I wanted it. I'm gonna pull it out with, with some flour on the table, but as little flour as you can get away with. And you can see I'm, I'm kind of using the edge of the table here to let gravity help me stretch the pie dough out a little bit. And once it's pulled out to size, we're gonna move it over to what's called a, a pizza peel. It's, it's this big wooden pallet that I'm gonna dust with a little bit of cornmeal, which keeps the pie from sticking when I wanna slide it off and go into the oven. So over onto the peel. First thing I'm gonna put down is a little bit of grapeseed oil. I'll keep it off the edges so that we maintain a, uh, a crust. But if you don't put a little bit of oil down, the whole pie will just kind of puff up all over the place in the middle. What's going down next is a coconut cream. Like I said, we've got many different uh, preparations or styles of coconut on this pie. And this is my mango and roasted poblano chutney. It's got a little bit of ginger in it, a little bit of lime juice, got some toasted pecans. These were just roasted off with a little bit of cumin. Some fresh grated coconut. And then the shrimp, we've got, like I said, some pink shrimp from Key West, Florida. I'm gonna put uh, just a little touch of kosher salt on top and then into the oven. This oven was imported from Italy and in the interior of the dome, like I said, gets up to about 800, 850 degrees. And what I'm doing is continually rotating the pie to get an even char around the outside of the crust. And that's it, it's done. I mean, super, super fast. You can see the, the shrimp are nice and bright pink. Okay, so pie's out of the oven. Uh, you can see we got a great golden charred little crust around the edge. The bottom's nice and crispy and, and crunchy. Uh, we're gonna finish it off with a little bit of Himalayan pink sea salt. Some fresh coconut now, so we've got uh, coconut cream as a base, some coconut that toasted in the oven, and then some fresh coconut on top. A little bit of fresh cilantro. And then I'm gonna finish it with some cracked black pepper, 
And this is a pineapple gloss. It's basically just pineapple juice that's been reduced down to a, a really thick, almost syrupy sort of consistency. So it's just a, a bright, sweet sort of finishing to the, uh, to the pie. And that's it. Thank you for watching another episode of Signature Chefs of Orlando. I'm Ian Russell at the Wine Barn of Winter Park. So today I'm pairing this <clears throat> Nolan Urban Riesling from the Mosul Valley. It's a, a Spätlacer Riesling. Uh, we're, we, we chose this, this wine today because of a very particular uh, food and wine pairing guideline that you can sort of keep in mind as you work through the, the, the tons and tons of options you have when picking a wine to go with your food. And that has to do with the, the sweetness of a wine. If you happen to be eating uh, some food that, that has a little bit of sugar in it, um, which this pie today, the, the, the Key West shrimp with the, the mango and, and roasted poblano chutney definitely has. You know, those, those mangoes certainly have some sugar in them. The, the coconut cream that goes in the base definitely has a little bit of sweetness to it. And that means that your wine also should have a little bit of residual sugar. Um, it, it's a simple little, little guideline, but if you keep it in mind, it can definitely help you. Um, you want your wine to be just the tiniest touch sweeter than the food that you're eating. If your wine is bone dry, say, or, or big and, and full like a, like a Cabernet that has no residual sugar at all, uh, like a Cabernet Sauvignon, it's going to taste with food that has a little bit of residual or a little bit of sugar in it, rather, it's going to taste extra dry. It's going to almost taste bitter. If, however, you decide to pick a wine like a Spätlacer or Riesling that has a little bit of residual sugar in it, it's just going to bounce back and forth and pair really, really well with food that has a little bit of sugar in it as well. That's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments, please feel free to, um, to leave them wherever you're watching this video. We'd love to hear from you.